I think sweater weather is just kind of uh, when my summer body kind of ends and the uh, flannel just helps with the transition. I don't know if it has anything to do with temperature since Texas really doesn't have seasons. So you just kind of got to dress with how cold your office is and ours is freezing. So pretty much all year is sweater weather. Right, what temperature defines sweater weather? For me, it's anything below like 72. If it's colder than my house, I'm layering. I'm used to like 100, like 95 degree weather. So literally anything colder than that and I need a jacket or something. My favorite sweater weather would probably be about 35 degrees. I think that's perfect. In Boston, I would never wear a, a sweater under 55 degrees. And then this is too much right now. This is too much. I really want to take this off. My, my favorite sweater weather is uh, between like 50 and 60 degrees, uh, sunshine. So. And, uh, and a free day off with nothing else to do uh, but hang out. The, the sweater's not enough when it gets below um, when it starts getting like 45 to 50. I'm from the UK, London. Um, I guess the temperature over in the UK would be around about eight degrees. Uh, so we'd be wearing maybe some sort of jacket now because it's quite chilly there. Yeah. A nice temperature, I guess, would be 65, 65 degrees, yeah. Originally, I'm from California, so sweater weather for me is about one or two days out of the year, usually a Christmas sweater or a Halloween sweater. But since moving to Texas, sweater weather is all the time. <laughs> Texas weather is finicky, but it's, it's chilly and it's different and it's fun. It allows you to wear the sweaters. It allows me to wear the sweaters. <laughs>